Number six then from the 2015 Advanced Higher Maths. Here we go, what looks obviously like a logarithmic differentiation. Here's an expression for y, obtain dy by dx for three marks. Now the first thing you would do here is to try and get that x down by taking the log of both sides. So ln y is ln of three to the power x squared. So ln y will be taking that power out. x squared times ln three, which of course is just a constant. So that'd be one mark. Then differentiate both sides. Now that's a function of a function here. So ln produces one over y, but the derivative of the y, since it's a function of x, is dy by dx. That's just a constant. So that'll just be two times that constant, two times ln three of x. So that was a mark for the differentiation. And then it's just a case of tidying up. So dy by dx will be y times that, whichever way you want to write this constant, maybe I'll just put in a bracket, x. And y was in the first place three to the power x squared. So dy by dx will be, take, I'll write this afterwards, so I'll put that two ln three at the front, x times three to the power x squared. And that's the third mark. In the Martin scheme, they've got 2x ln3, but ln3 is just a constant, and the conventional term is coefficient then variable. Well, you could have popped that inside, made, made that ln9x. Now, it also mentions in the marking scheme, going from this line here, where you've just taken logs of both sides, you know, so you can pop that down, then producing this other expression, just by now removing the logarithm, just by doing the inverse, so you've got y equals, so on this side it'll be e to the power of that whole thing, x squared ln3. And remember, of course, that, that is just a number of x squared. And then differentiating that to dy by dx equals, so that will stay as e to the x squared ln3. Or maybe I'll write the coefficient first ln3 x squared multiplied by the derivative of that and of course that's just a constant and the derivative of that will be 2 ln3 x 2 ln3 x and they seem to allow this as the final answer but it's, it's not really simplified because this part here is just the number 3 so that should really have gone down to 2 ln3 x and as before 3 to the power x squared. So I don't know why they left the last mark here when that was quite clearly crying out to be tidied up. Now there was another one, another method given in the marking scheme, which was actually the second one given. The best one was just the first one. Just straightforward. Take the logarithms of both sides, logarithmic differentiation, which was to carry out a substitution. And it makes it look as if it's fairly straightforward in the marking scheme, but it's not actually. If you were to use a substitution, and what it says is, well, let u equal x squared, so you've got y equals 3 to the u, so it makes it look so much easier then. So, first part would be the same as before, I need to get at that u, because that's my new variable now, replacing the x squared. So, ln y would be ln 3 to the u, so ln y would be ln3 multiplied by u, so I'll just pop it in this side because that's just a constant. And then differentiating that would be 1 upon y, but since it's expressed in terms of this new variable, that would actually be dy by du would equal just ln3 in this case, because u was just power 1. So that you've got dy by du taking the y across, and just to save some space because it is very long, would be ln3 times 3 to the u. Well, they miss out this whole middle bit here by just saying, oh, there's your, that's your second mark. Then all of a sudden, dy by dx reappears, but it doesn't reappear that easily. dy by dx is equal to dy by du times du by dx. So if you want dy by dx, you'd have to multiply this by du by dx. So it'd have to be ln3 times 3 to the u. I know I've not put the, u back, the x back in yet, but I'll need du by dx. So I've got to go up here. du 
by dx is 2x. So now we can pop that back in. So multiplied by du by dx means that I finally get dy by dx equals, and since that's 2x, I'll just take that to the front, 2 ln 3x, 3 to, and of course u was x squared. So it wasn't quite as simple as it implied in the marking scheme to employ this substitution and get involved in the chain rule. So the very first way was the best way.